Our subsea autonomous survey solution provides rapid and repeatable access to our oceans, forming a cost-effective solution that will change the way we collect and understand ocean data. The cyclic nature of our swarm system means that data is available within hours, not the days or weeks it takes with typical AUV systems. And unlike the gold standard of AUVs that purely focus on the sea floor, we travel vertically through the water column, collecting much richer information about the ocean as a whole. I think this project takes SMD to the next level. It, it extends what I think SMD does well, and that is it looks at really complex problems and looks at it from a different, different perspective in order to solve them and offer the, the best value for that solution. Team Tower is a fantastic example of what happens here in the North East. It brings together the opportunities that the intellectual property from the universities and the manufacturing sector with world leading companies like SMD working together in a fantastic centre like this here at Tyne Subsea, a world leading capability and facility part funded by the North East Local Enterprise Partnership. We really believe this is a project that could change the way that the world sees the oceans and works with the oceans and we're very very proud that it's happening here in the northeast of England. Team Tower is a mixture of different approaches to team working. Team Tower originally comprised of two individuals, uh, one from SMD and, and one from Newcastle University. Those two individuals brought connections from their respective organisations, subsea knowledge, industrial design, sonar technology knowledge, and they've been fused together. Team Tower encapsulates everything that's exciting about the Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund in robotics. Basically, they're a very innovative group. They're there at the cutting edge of technology, and on the international stage, they're competing very well. I'd really like to see the last UK consortium in the, in the Shed Xbox succeed and win. But if they don't do that, what I want them to do is to learn from what they've been doing over the last seven months and commercialise those products and services they've been developing. So we're a small and passionate team uh, that has worked tirelessly to get to the XPRIZE Grand Final. Um, but for us, this only marks the start of our journey, with the ultimate goal being to commercialise our system's pioneering capabilities. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do our own planet. We've only mapped 5% of the world's oceans, and the Shell Ocean Discovery X Prize has presented this as a problem for our team to solve, and Team Tau has worked passionately to try and develop a commercially viable and innovative solution that will really capitalise on this massive opportunity. We entered the Shell Ocean X Prize Discovery Competition for a few different reasons. Firstly, because it's a, it's a real challenge, and SMD has always liked to do difficult things. We've pioneered a lot of things in the subsea industry in our time, so we we really saw this as you know, fitting in with how we like to, to do things. We were really inspired by the aim behind the uh, the X Prize Discovery Competition. You know, the, the fact that we know so little about the surface of our planet. You know, the first part of anything we do is a survey and that's in every part of the industry we operate in. It's really acted as an accelerator for us for a lot of different technologies we're applying to other parts of our industry. So things like autonomous surface vessels becoming part of the ROV industry in oil and gas and other areas, things like over the horizon control and also much better sensors. So to be the only UK team in the XPRIZE is something we're very proud of. It's, it's good to raise the flag. But we're also a multinational team, though, so that's important to recognise. What I'm most proud of, though, is what a, a very small and agile team has managed to achieve in such a small space of time. I think they're by far the smallest team on the competition, and yet I think they've come up with the most innovative solution to really solving the problem of how we can rapidly map the deep sea floor. I'm confident that our solution is one that has the potential to radically change and make more efficient how we map the seafloor and also scale up to do that.